What's up, everybody? You're here with your boys, Glass Cloud, and you're watching Crescendo TV. New album that came out the world thousand came out on July 10th. How have how's that like release experience been? It's been awesome. It's been awesome. How have yeah, I been able to like play while we're you know while it was released? So. Yeah, the idea fun. of of our band has been around for a few months prior to the album coming out, and it was pretty much just kids would either like it because they liked the idea of it or they liked my previous bands or Josh's previous bands, mm -hmm. and so nobody really had like an opportunity to say I listen to Glass Cloud and I like it, you know. So the album came out and. Um, it's been doing really well. We haven't gotten very much negative feedback at all. It was um, shitty to play shows without a record. Even people like your set, they're like, oh, where's the record? And you don't, yeah. have, it. don't have it. Yeah. So now it's out and it's awesome. It's also cool too, like the beginning of this tour, our album wasn't out yet. Actually, our album came out like a week after this tour started. But we we had like 12,000 likes on, on Facebook and I think we're at like 50,000 now or something. And that's yeah. just a couple of weeks where kids have, instead of them saying, well, I, want, I, I like the idea of the band, but now they're like, I can listen to it and actually like it. So it's kind of cool that people can listen to the music now as opposed to just the one or two songs that we had up beforehand. How have the fans responded to it as far as like the, when, when it like came out right away? Really, really, really well. Like, um, there's, we're a different type of sound, so I think we're, kids are kind of refreshed that it's not just the same typical. It seems like it's breaking up more time. now yeah. that the kids have had some time to digest it and, and check it out, and, and it's becoming more like uh, the compliments are becoming more in depth rather than just love your band. Like yeah. people actually are liking it and checking it out and picking it apart, and it's cool to see like people start to understand it. I know you guys been involved in a few different projects. How did this one come together? Per se. So um, all this guy. Yeah, I when I when I quit Skites Airplane, I was still on a, my recording contract. There's a, a clause called the leaving member clause, meaning that I quit, and they have first rights to whatever I do next. Mm -hmm. Um, because they kind of see me as an investment. They paid for me to be in these magazines or whatever, or to go on these tours or whatnot. Um, so they kind of gave me free run to do a band. Um, I had the idea of doing a band, and then I, I got scooped up to do this other project, and I you know, agreed to do it on the fly. Um, didn't really think about it, did it for a year. When I got out of that, I was like, okay, I'm really gonna do this now. Um, I had been talking to Josh a little bit, like a few months before I approached him to join the band, just because I'm a huge fan of his, of his work and his other band, like I was like a legit fan. Like, I still listen to the songs. Um, Chad and Travis, we all grew up together and they've always been just good friends of mine, really good musicians. And, um, and my main thing when starting this band was I just want to, the musicianship is there, but I wanted to make sure we could hang mm -hmm. and, and be friends because my other bands, I wasn't, I didn't know the guys. I, they, they called me, I met them, hey, I'm Jerry, and we go and play shows, and that was it. So when um, I, talk, I was talking to Equal Vision, Tra uh, Trav called me one day randomly um, asking if he could use me as a reference to be a guitar tech for this band, Train. Obviously, everybody's heard of them. And um, after the, talking to that, I was like, well, I'm starting a band, and you should play bass. And it was kind of perfect timing because yeah. I was calling him three weeks before me and him were graduating from yeah. college. Yeah, they were going to Berkeley College. See, I, we were all friends. I kind of joined bands, started touring, and they and those two went to college. And so they did that for the four years. I was touring for the five years, and they're kind of like we were here, and we split off, and then met up, and then now we do. And then we start through. sissy fighting with yeah. each other. <laughs> no, no <laughs> so how does this differ than from what you guys have done in the past? As uh, far as music goes, it's more like backwards than that. It's like, how does it not differ? You know, yeah. it's like we don't approach things in that kind of a manner. You know, yeah, it's no. just kind of like, how do things feel? That's yeah. it. It's all about the, our morality and stuff. Now we're all older mm -hmm. than you know. When I started touring, I was like 19, 20 years old, just infatuated with being on the road. And now the approach to that isn't like we're on tour. Yeah, it's um. Can this lifestyle be happy and also do what we love? Because the last two bands I was in, I started losing like grip on what like touring and playing shows were. were there wasn't fun anymore. And I was like, how is this possible? I remember being like 16, like all I want to do is just. Play. I was like practicing in front of my mirror, playing guitar to, to like Poison the Well songs. So I was being what, what every kid does, you know. And I never did that. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Yes, you did. Like, anyway, um, but yeah, it's more or less like. It, I mean, as 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 shitty as it is to just kind of say, it is a job. When it all boils down to it, it's a business, and it's just trying to make it fun for everybody and not like a 
all work, you know. Yeah. It's good. We try to find the good medium between the both of them. And like I said, we're all a little older now. We all have our heads on straight. Um, we're not just all about partying and, yeah. and, and that. And um, we do. I mean, we do have a good time, but um, but it's, we're not kids anymore. So mm-hmm. we're just trying to do music that we are having fun doing and that kids like. You know, take it or leave it. If you died and were reincarnated, what would you want to come back as? A hawk. No, no hesitation red, red at all. Red-tailed hawk. That. Yeah, that's me. Next. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> golden, I need golden, golden Eagle. Golden Eagle. Golden Eagle, I guess. That's not that glorious. Oh, yeah. I mean, but I want something else. I want to think about it. No, like, I just can't uh, say a frog or something. Are you like, are you, have you ever got into like the Harry Potter movies? Yeah. So like, oh, yeah, the, you know, the, uh, I'm trying to remember what the fuck that bird was. Like, uh, a phoenix, phoenix maybe? Yeah, that that's what it was. Wouldn't they be their friend anymore? When it dies, doesn't it just like, <laughs> it, it starts again. Or something? Yeah, it starts so again. yeah, how do, how do, but you that's burn, you that little part. Well, it doesn't it matter. You are a brand, brand, brand new baby in a minute. What, a, a phoenix? Brand new baby. Oh, okay, yeah. all right, guys, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> God. Oh, <man. laughs> either, either Nightcrawler or Beast. Probably Nightcrawler. You can't come back to X-Men. Beast is dope. Yeah, that's not smart. fair. You didn't say <laughs> superheroes. I said like, well, whatever you want. I'll, I'll come, come back I'll as come a back UFO. I'm coming back green and pissed off. Hulk? Hulked out. Period. But he's not even pit, he's not even cool looking though when he's not hawked. And you can't have hawked. sex, dude. When he's not hawked, though. Is that what you say? <laughs> All right, well, to close off, do you guys have anything else to say to your fans? We've been here. We've been here, and our debut album just came out a few weeks ago, so if you haven't heard of Glass Cloud yet, Go check it out. It's streaming everywhere online. You can buy it at Hot Topic, FYE, Best Buy, all that beautiful stuff. And shout out to Equal Vision Records. Woohoo! Sweet. Thanks for watching. Shout out to you. We're hanging out with Glass Clouds. Clouds.